Hi, my name's Michael Gatewood, and what I'm doing now is I'm going into CS5, Photoshop CS5, and I'm going to rename this image Steak and click OK to create an artificial depth of field. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to copy the layer using Command J or Control J, and then what I'm going to do is add a blur, a Gaussian blur, which will actually knock it out of focus. I'm going to check to see if I need to make it more or less until I get the right amount of blur and click OK. Then what I'm going to do is add a mask, a white mask, and then what I'm going to do is go to the gradient tool and I'm going to choose white to black gradient. Once I've done that, I'm going to click, drag a line, and let go. If I want, click and drag at a different angle, and that creates a different depth of field. You can see the wine glass is out of focus. I'll zoom in for you, zoom back out, and turn off layer visibility to give you an idea of how much depth of field I've created. Perfect, a nice soft glow in the background. Then what I'm going to do is go to the paintbrush, and I'm going to add a white paintbrush, adjust using the bracket keys, and fade the front of the steak. Adjusting the brush size with the bracket keys makes it so much easier. I'm going to turn off layer visibility off and on. Perfect. Go in and save. This is a beautiful example of artificial depth of field.